Hey guys, my name is Krista. Welcome back to my channel. I just did a how to penny shop at Dollar General video and a lot of you want to know about this penny finder app that I talk about all the time. So I thought I would do like a little tutorial video, I guess, um, or just show you how I use the app and how I think it's beneficial. Um, so this is to find penny items at Dollar General. Ideally, you'll just scan the item in store and it'll tell you whether or not other penny shoppers have found these items as a penny or not, uh, which is pretty fantastic, actually. There are some other apps like this, you know, that have been created before and I never really liked any of those other apps just because, you know, the people who own the app did not make sure that the items that people were scanning in were actually a penny. So you really didn't know at the end of the day. But if everybody downloads this app and participates, it, it it's a wonderful app. Um, but when you find new penny items, you have to enter them into the app. And I'll show you how to do that just in case you want to know how to do that. All right. So this app does cost $1.99. My biggest two concerns of downloading this app were, number one, if I download the app, will I have to keep paying the $1.99? If I delete it and then re-download it, is $1.99 is a, a one-time fee? You know, what's the deal with that? And then secondly, I was concerned that it wouldn't work in store because you guys know we don't always get great service inside of Dollar General. So I reached out to the people who run the app and they assured me um, if you have an Android phone, as long as your phone has autofocus, it will work in store without service, which is fantastic. And I've tested it out and it does really work without service. Um, also, the $1.99 is a one-time fee. I do, again, have an Android phone. Um, so as long as I'm signed into my Gmail account, I can delete this app and re-download it as many times as I want and I don't have to pay that $1.99 fee again. And it's not $1.99 a month or anything like that. It's literally just $1.99. Now, I should also say they're not paying me to promote this app or anything like that. I just really, from the bottom of my heart, think this is a really good app. Now, since I have talked about it in a few videos, uh, two people, actually, only two, have reached out to me and told me that they did not like this app because they couldn't get things to scan. And I think that lady doesn't have autofocus. And then the other lady just said, you know, she didn't really find it helpful. So I, I just want to let you guys know up front, you know, but everybody else other than those two have loved it and tell me that they love it. So, I mean, I guess there is a chance that you may not like it. I personally love this app. I think it is you know, for $1.99, the best thing ever, honestly. All right, so when you first download the app and create your account, you're going to come up to this hall wall. And if you look down here at the bottom, we got three different tabs. We got the hall wall, penny list, and your account. So when you get on the hall wall here, it's basically looks like Facebook posts, which are really cool. Um, you can comment on people's posts. You can also like the post and you can see most importantly what people are currently finding for a penny. Um, so you know what to look for. You know what's, you know, probably going to be a penny at your stores currently. And that's why I think this app is helpful because you don't have to keep up. Um, this app really helps you just keep up without having to write things down and screenshot them all the time and then go back and look for them. So I highly recommend if you want to go penny shopping and you haven't for a while that you go through the hall wall here and just see what people are finding. Okay, um, so next we're going to go to the penny list. And in order to go to the penny list, you're just going to hit that middle tab down there at the bottom. Also, you guys, if you don't have an Android phone and you do have an iPhone, um, the owners of this app have a YouTube tutorial for iPhone, and I will link that in the description box of this video and in the comments. Um, I highly suggest that you go watch their tutorial video, whether or not you have an Android or an iPhone, because, of course, they're going to be able to explain their app better than I can. All right, so here we're in the penny list, and these are just items up here at the top that people have most recently found for a penny. Now, most of these actually I just now put into the app. 
So I put 22 items into the app, and some of these are not mine, um, but some of them, most of them are here that we're looking at now. All right, so these are the ones that were already in the app, and this is so helpful, you guys. Oh, I know those camo shorts are in the uh, a penny because I got two pairs of them, and I did just enter some into the app too. All right, so we got, I think it is 4,000 penny items currently in this app. Oh, it's 5,949 total penny items. That's insane, you guys. This app uh, had new items entered into it at least uh, 10 minutes ago, or now it's saying moments ago. So as you can see, guys, people are right now entering things into this app. So if you're in store and you're shopping for items, how do you know if it's a penny? So we're going to go up here on the top right-hand corner of the screen, and we're going to hit that little uh, barcode sign. And I'm just going to scan a pair of capris that I got for a penny the other day. Now you do need good lighting, but right now I'm at my house, and of course you're gonna have better lighting at Dollar General than I have in here right now. And the more you can hold still, the better. I think that's my biggest issue is that I'm a little shaky. Yay, so it come right up. As you can see there, uh, yellow dot SS17, green capris, been verified by two members. I actually entered that into the app. You can see my keyboard in the picture there. Now you can click on that picture and make it just a little bit bigger. Um, and I know my picture is kind of terrible. I apologize about that. But if you are concerned about, you know, as I said, I'm a little shaky, so it's hard to scan the barcode easily. What you can do is instead of uh, hitting that barcode sign thing there up at the top, you can just hit the magnifying glass and you can actually type in the last four numbers of the barcode. So you don't have to do the whole barcode, just the last four numbers. And if it's a penny item, it'll come up. So let's test that out. So it's three, seven. Five, one. And I'm going to hit uh, the magnifying glass there on my keyboard, and bam, there's those uh, yellow dot green pants. So we know that that's a penny if we're in store. Guys, that is so simple. Now the key here is once you purchase these items for a penny, uh, if they're not entered into the app, you, you must enter them into the app. That way, if the next penny shopper comes behind you and scans the yellow dot SS17 green capris, it comes up as a penny. Now, this is a group community type app, um, and the reason I love this app so much is that the uh, people who run the app or own it, whatever, they actually go back and check and make sure all these are, in fact, a penny. Um, so they participate, they post, they find penny items as well, uh, and that's really great. So... Pretty simple, you guys. If you have any questions about this app that I did not discuss, please put them in the comments of the video. I read um, and answer every single comment on all of my videos. It may take me a few days, but I will get there and answer your questions. So now I'm just going to play around for a little bit. Oh, let's enter an item into the app before we end. Hold on, I got to go in here and get something real quick okay so I have a pair of swimming trunks here let's try these and see if they scan oops I'm so shaky it's so hard for me to hold still There we go. Okay, so nothing come up. I'm going to grab a different item, and instead of scanning that item, let's just search the last four of the barcode. This is not an item that I entered into the app either. It's a different, a new, like, one, I guess. 
So the last four numbers are, there's a hole in the tag, but I think it is 0986. Search. So no, I don't see it here. This is actually a skirt. Let's try one more because that one does have a hole in the tag. And to be fair, I'm not sure that that was a zero. So I'm going to hit the magnifying glass, type in the last four numbers here on the barcode. They are 2301. Search. Coloring books. Nope. So this is a shirt. Now let's make sure it worked. And now I'm going to scan the barcode on that same tag that we just entered in. No. All right, so I'm going to enter this into the app. As you can see, this item is not a penny or has not been discovered yet. If it were a penny, it would pop up there on the screen and say, you know, however many members have verified this item. So what I'm going to do is hit this plus sign down here. Um, I'm going to hit this barcode where it says the SKU, which is the barcode. I hit the little barcode a symbol and we're going to scan this and see it automatically picked up the barcode so I didn't have to type that in which is fantastic. I'm going to write that this shirt is a white dot and I don't know that you're supposed to do that. I just find that helpful. White dot SS17 and the brand is Zone Pro. It's a sleeveless Sure. Man's. All right, so now let's take a picture. And I got stuff piled up in here everywhere. It's so hard for me to take a good picture of it. Okay, that'll do. I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to submit. Let's make sure everything's good. And I'm going to hit submit. And now that item will be entered into the Penny Finder app. If you guys go in the store and find the same shirt and scan the tag or search for the barcode, it's going to come up that I entered it into the app. Now it says has not been verified. Um, after I added them in, I verified them. And again, I don't know that you're supposed to do that, but I seen after I entered some of the items into the app, other members had verified them. So maybe you're not supposed to do that. I'm not sure. I went ahead and did it just so it says verified. Cause I know for a fact, uh, these items are a penny. All right. Again, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them for me below. If I missed anything and you need me to explain something else, I'm happy to do that. Subscribe if you haven't and leave me a comment anyway down below. Let me know um, if you find any items with this app in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.